Okay, you guys, so what's today's sticky story? We have a mythical use for duct tape that highlights both its adhesive qualities and its inherent strength. Okay, hit me. <laughs> okay, so what's the myth? You've heard of a potato cannon, right? Yeah, you take a bunch of PVC pipe, glued together, seal off one end, add some propellant, add a potato, ignite the propellant, and bang, you're launching potatoes. Exactly, and as most teenagers and internet anarchists know, you usually use a cement to seal the PVC piping. But there's a just as reliable, much quicker way using duct tape. Apparently, duct tape is strong enough to withstand the forces of the potato cannon. All right, sounds easy enough. So we make two cannons, one the traditional way and one with duct tape, and see how they compare. Can the duct tape hold up as well as the actual cement that you use to put these pipes together? Now we know that we can launch a potato with this guy. Can we do it with this guy without it exploding at the bottom instead of just launching a potato? So with the cannons complete, the team makes its way to its detonation destination. So we got us some potato cannons and we can't fire them in the shop. So we've come to the Alameda Runway where we have a big expanse of space right here. We can shoot off into the distance and explore whether duct tape is as strong as a traditional glue that holds together a potato cannon. He's just relaxing on his porch, shooting off his potato gun. Yeah. You trying to hit San Francisco? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me introduce you to the latest items in the Carrie Byron line of home destruction. This is a spud trucker made entirely out of PVC tubing with actual PVC glue. And this is the duct tape tater tosser, but this has duct tape fastening. This is a setup for a control test. We have Buster in the chair. And load her up. We've got a scale to tell us how fast the potatoes come out of the barrel. And just for laps, we'll be measuring exactly how far they go. This is going to be great. This season, myths will fall. <laughs> All new Mythbusters, Wednesday at 9, only on Discovery.